All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the tile properties for the reflection. Inside of it, if we go to the option for position, now position has a couple of different things. First, you can enable or disable it. So if you don't want it to actually be visible in the scene to start with, uh, you can turn it on or off. If you have a trigger event that you uh, wanting to turn water on for a bit or turn it off, you can. There is a height. The height is basically saying what is the height, in, uh, the, what is the horizon line for the water. So you can take it above the horizon line, below the horizon line. Uh, the offset is actually saying where, in terms of the uh, the actual height in the scene, where are you placing it? So if you set the height to 50, you're saying it's middle horizon line. You can still, if I take it all the way up to here, I'm still saying it's center in terms of what it's going to see, but where it's placed is up at the top here. And that basically means that there, anything that's right above this line is going to be shown as looking like it's actually on the uh, on the horizon line as well. All right, and this is also going to affect the uh, when you start changing the offset and the well, actually when you change the height, it's going to change the speed of the camera going left and right or up and down. So if you're moving, you may see it move slower or faster based on the height that you're setting if you're changing it from the default to 50. Your depth, if you're wanting to take it in front of, maybe I want to place the the uh, the water in front of everything else. Uh, you can place it behind and or you could just place it at the center so you can have objects in front or behind it uh, using that. The lock camera to X and Y, this is saying just simply what is it going to lock to. I'm saying I want it to lock to the camera moving left and right like we saw in the last video. It moves with the camera which if it's following the player then it's going to follow uh, that and at the pace that the player is moving. You have a UV flip so if you want to flip on the horizontal notice it's actually just flipping it, it's mirroring it on the horizontal here. If you flip it on the vertical, it's actually just going to, instead of doing below the horizon, it's actually flipping to do above the horizon. Alright, All right, so that's going to be your basic setup for your position uh, using it this way. Um, and again, um, like it, let me go ahead and just do it as an example here. I'm going to go ahead and place it up to this point. And then we'll go ahead and put on for this part. If I was to move, we'll do one block up so you can see the, uh, the two difference on it. And this basically is going to give us the uh, a look so you can see it's still set to the horizon line at 50, meaning in the middle, um, but the actual position of the, the image is just simply placed above. So again, you still have the same effect that the player can actually still be seen at that halfway mark. Alright, so that's going to be the basic setup for your position on it.